Hello, this is the presentation uh, for the impact of a green roof on urban air quality. I'm uh, Jana Stevanovic, uh, and this is a group from a Laboratory for Thermal Engineering at uh, Institute uh, Lincheng. Uh, first of all, I want to show you the content. The content is introduction, scope of measurements, results, discussion, and uh, conclusion. Uh, in this slide, uh, we have timeline that uh, begins in the 1950s, uh, when was uh, the start uh, of uh, collecting of uh, human emission, and uh, these activities has uh, cost around 100% uh, of warming observing, according to Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change in uh, 2000. Uh, we already have definition as uh, green roofs as measurements uh, against uh, 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 air pollution in the city. And uh, with uh, green roofs, uh, we can help to mitigate the urban heat island effect and the green spaces and urban vegetation can improve the quality of the air. In 200 in 2005, uh, we have already have a big uh, study case in the city of Toronto, where all urban area of city of Toronto was covered with the green roofs, and uh, this uh, this gave uh, some uh, information that uh, that uh, that can help us in the in the future study that that's minimize air pollutants around 58 metric tons and reducing air pollutants by almost 7 tons per year. In 2010, uh, also there is a study of green roofs in Chicago uh, where uh, the approximation was on the zone of green roof and concentration of uh, carbon dioxide over the green roof uh, was uh, uh, 5.3 milligrams uh, per cubic meter. And uh, in 2021, we can see that the modern climate change and average global temperature was uh, very high and ever before in the least uh, one 1,300 years uh, at the speed at the speed of global warming has never been as high as it is today. Uh, in the repetition of uh, green roofs, uh, most of, most studies uh, reported the influence of green roofs on decreased energy consumption <coughs> in buildings and its <coughs> effectiveness on air quality, and is not yet clear due to the limited number of studies on it and the uh, image of a green filter uh, shows that simulation revealed that the concentration of carbon dioxide around the green roof uh, noticeably blue and uh, uh, wind was blowing. Uh, wind speed reduced the concentration by around 9% and this was presented as <coughs> energy savings and ecological benefits. Uh, in this tree, uh, we have a, a circulation of uh, as most of the case studies. First of all, it's a measurement uh, that's continuous sampling of uh, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide emissions. And uh, we have integrated that with the European standards, and uh, we have low on air emission. And in European standards and in law, there is a directive of uh, 2008 with Annex 1. And we created a database and uh, we have done diagnostic and analyzing of the database. And we have extracted the samplers uh, in this analysis. And uh, we have validation of uh, results in their own local area. In the, in the scope of uh, measurements, uh, we have first of all uh, SEPA stations uh, for automatic air quality monitoring uh, that uh, they are used uh, in uh, this measurement. 
measurements, uh, they are uh, defined as, uh, as on a certain location and the altitude between them is uh, 9 meter and the measurement station for uh, monitor air quality above the green roof of the reference building area in New, in New Melbourne is uh, placed near a busy intersection in the most highly urbanized area and close to the SEPA monitoring uh, stations. Uh, we have uh, done this uh, this uh, sampling, and uh, we uh, have uh, all data collected and analyzed period covered uh, 61 uh, stationary environmental periods from September to October, and uh, uh, we have done it uh, for the more that is defined in the Annex 1, that uh, data quality criteria for the, case, for the cases carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and uh, natrium dioxide, that is medium period of 50% of one stationary environmental period in the scope of 8 hours. So, minimum criteria for quality measurement is minimum 4 hours of one stationary environment environmental period and this was uh, updated in analysis of uh, green roof filter effect. In the scope of the measurements uh, we have done uh, two histograms, uh, histograms on uh, daily data quality and histograms on the night data quality. As you can see on the figures, histogram on daily data quality is on the left side and histogram of night data quality is on the right side. On all, uh, all periods of measurements is uh, defined is as data records for September and October uh, 2019, uh, which uh, includes uh, First of all, on a daily on a daily basis, twenty eight number of stationary periods for interval uh, between four and six hours, uh, seven numbers of stationary periods for interval uh, between six and eight hours, uh, three uh, stationary periods uh, for interval between eight and ten hours, and uh, one uh, number of stationary periods for interval. Uh, 10 and 12 hours. On the night basis, uh, we have included 15 uh, stationary periods for interval between 4 and 7 hours and uh, 7 the number of stationary periods for interval between 7 and 10 hours. In the results, uh, uh, data analysis for vector intensity of uh, pollutants, emission pollutants for stationary uh, condition. Uh, stationary condition are conditions such as uh, wind velocity is up to 1 meter per second in urban area and uh, air temperature is maximized at uh, 25 uh, degrees. And uh, in uh, this uh, study, a uh, study flow was uh, considered, so uh, the stable atmosphere conditions are integrated in uh, this analysis. And uh, this uh, was uh, fully integrated at the uh, database of, uh, of uh, meteorological uh, station for uh, for New Belgrade and uh, Mostar was carried out and the values of uh, velocity intensity, uh, intensity V1 of pollutant for uh, carbon monoxide are in the table 1 and the values of vector intensity V1 pollutant of uh, uh, NO2 e are also in the table. As uh, the as the analyzing, uh, uh, we have results for 
could we remove filters effect uh, for uh, delta carbon monoxide uh, over the day and uh, thus this uh, delta was uh, taken into the concentration uh, between uh, two, uh, two concentration number of the emission pollutant uh, V1 for stationary conditions and uh, for the absorption uh, vector V2 of uh, green roof. And uh, on the one on the left side, you can see representative sequence of uh, carbon monoxide in daily data recording mode of uh, vectors one and two uh, for the period September and October. And on the right side, you can see a percentage of uh, green roof efficiency is filter regarding carbon monoxide in uh, daily data recording uh, mode. Also, uh, a green roof filter effect for the delta carbon monoxide overnight uh, by taking into consideration the vector intensity of ozone. V1 for stationary condition at the meteorological station New Belgrade and Master and observation vector V2 are represented in figure 4 and uh, representative sequence uh, of carbon monoxide in night data recording mode of the vectors condition for the period. Uh, September and October and uh, on the right side uh, in the table we can see percentage of green roof efficiency as filter in night period regarding carbon monoxide. Uh, green roof filter factor for delta natrium dioxide over the night by taking into consideration vector intensity of potent V1 for stationary conditions at the meteorological station New Belgrade and Mosser and observation vector 2. Uh, we can see a uh, represent representative sequence uh, of uh, natrium uh, dioxide in daily data recording mode of factors 1 and 2 uh, for the period September and October uh, 2019. And we can see a percentage of green roof efficiency as filter regarding to natrium uh, dioxide in daily data recording mode. Green roof filter effect for delta natrium dioxide over a night by taking into consideration uh, vector intensity of potent V1 for stationary condition at the meteorological station New Belgrade and Monster and observation vector 2. Uh, here is a representative sequence in a uh, uh, natrium dioxide in the night data recording mode of factors 1 and 2 in stationary condition for the period September and October. And uh, we can see percentage of green roof efficiency is filtered in a night period regarding to natrium dioxide. Uh, since uh, emission of uh, carbon dioxide uh, is uh, not uh, uh, is not uh, recorded in a SEPA measurement uh, station and, in, and its base. Uh, we have done uh, measurement of uh, carbon dioxide in the representative uh, roof, uh, near, uh, near green roof. So we have uh, also uh, have uh, measured simultaneously the green roof and reference roof. To school of school building and it was shown that the above green roof uh, uh, carbon dioxide concentration was lower uh, from uh, 1.59% uh, and 9.9% uh, than on above conventional roof in September and October respectively and uh, we can uh, see in discussion uh, first of all, that uh, removal of air pollutants from green roof settled on the school building depended on different factors such as weather condition and the concentration of pollutants. Uh, second, an approach was made for a steady atmosphere for having stationary emission contrasts uh, repeated during September and October 
Forte, a higher concentration of all considered pollutants of vector V1 is observed in October compared to September. This increase is a result of the beginning of the heating season. The intensity of absorption vector V2 was shown minor changes, particularly in September during day and night when the plants uh, were fully grown. And the fourth result for carbon dioxide from sensor above reference and green roofs show absorption effect of green roof and possibility use the green roof as a passive filter. In the conclusion, the green roof can be used as a standalone measure to reduce air pollution. Its environmental benefits are numerous. Converting Belgrade's roofs to green uh, would remove a large amount of air pollutants. However, this method would require a high cost and lengthy construction. Green roofs can help uh, reduce air pollutants and provide better ventilation. They can also be built with plant <clears throat> species that can tolerate high levels of pots. The construction and maintenance of a green roof should be standardized to lower its cost. Thank you for your attention.